Welcome back to the stars, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Lawgiver Rifle, a unique rifle that I haven't really seen anything quite like it in other games. This is one of the very first rifles that you're going to be introduced to in Starfield. It's the first sniper-ish rifle, as a lot of people point out. This isn't really a sniper rifle, it's more of like a battle rifle, which I think is kind of a better way to describe it. But either way, it can function as a sniper rifle or just as a combat rifle in general. You're more than likely first going to get introduced to this weapon on Aquila. You might find it earlier than that or at other places if you end up exploring more because sometimes mercenaries can have this, raiders can have this, spacers can have it. Also, depending on your moral choices, other guards can have it. So if you kill them and take it off of them, you can have that too. Forward base stats, the lawgiver holds six shots in it. Once you go to reload, you actually reload the entire thing. It's kind of like a stripper clip, sort of. It's more of like an end block clip, similar to like an M1, where you just shove everything right into it, which I really like. It doesn't have a ping to it, which would even be better, but maybe a mod will fix that one day or something. That would be really cool to see. It fires the 50 caliber round. This is one of two guns that fires this. This and the hard target are the only two that fire this, at least currently. There might be more that gets added in the future. This one does 37 damage base. It has a rate of fire of 10, so it is fairly slow. It's not terrible though. The rate of fire is still pretty decent for a rifle like this. I also don't know exactly what the rate of fire actually means. I, I don't think this is rounds per minute unless they're counting reload speed or something. But even then, I don't really believe this number, so uh, we're just gonna say it's 10. Has a range of 40, which is pretty decent. It's twice the range of most handguns besides one handgun that actually has the same range, the big old revolver, the, the Razorback, I believe. This one has decent accuracy and it doesn't weigh too much for a rifle like this. This weapon also has a decent amount of mods. Let's go over the pros and cons of this weapon really quick. So the basic pros of this weapon are kind of what you would expect for a battle rifle or a rifle that could be used as a sniper rifle. This one has good damage per shot. It doesn't go through ammo too quickly and 50 cal rounds aren't super difficult to find because whenever you do find somebody that has a rifle like this, they usually have like 50 rounds on them. And since this is doing such high damage per shot, you're likely not gonna be going through those rounds super quick. It has good range, better range with certain mods on it, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. And it has pretty good accuracy. So all of that is kind of what you would expect from a battle rifle or a hunting rifle type weapon in most games like this. Cons are also kind of what you would expect from a weapon like this, where it doesn't have that high of a rate of fire. So at very close range, this weapon can still work, but it's not going to be as effective as certain other weapons that you might get at the same time. It's also going to take a little while between follow-up shots, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It might make you a little bit more accurate that way, but it can be kind of annoying when you shoot something and then it gets behind cover or goes behind a rock to where you can't shoot it until it goes past there and then you can fire at it again. And this weapon does kind of follow up later, mostly with its competition being the hard target rifle, which we're not really going to talk about too much here but that weapon kind of does everything the lawgiver does but a little bit better not to say that it's massively different in terms of which one is better than the other because i think the lawgiver is actually a pretty solid weapon on my recent tier list i put the lawgiver into the c tier which i think is being a little bit harsh for it i it should probably be a little bit higher than that probably into b tier maybe on the high end of c tier depending on how you see it if you really take into account the the drop off of the weapon at least compared to this, to the hard target, then it is substantially weaker than it. But it's not such a bad weapon that you couldn't still use it throughout the entirety of the game. You can do that with any weapon in Starfield, just like you can with any of these open world games. So I think B tier, when you find it, and it's probably going to be your main like long range weapon for quite a while, until maybe you get the uh, old earth hunting rifle, your Vinterez, that might be another option for this. Or if you modify like a Beowulf to be kind of a sniper rifle, that could also be an option, but this one is a pretty decent uh, long range rifle for the time that you get it, and it hangs in there pretty well too. For mods, I did build this like a sniper rifle because I think that's kind of the best way to build it, or sniper rifle-ish. It's not really super long range, but it is pretty good at medium range and can still work fairly well at close range. For the barrel, I would recommend a long barrel. There's no real reason to not go with this unless you just don't want the extra weight or the extra ADS speed, which isn't really that big of a deal, doesn't really matter that much. For a laser, it's no laser or it's the laser sight on it, you might as well just put the laser sight on this because it's going to get you a little bit better accuracy, which is kind of cool. For optics, you do have some decent options. This one, weirdly enough, always says that it has iron sights, even though it doesn't have technically like standard iron sights or traditional iron sights, where it's almost always a, I guess, a holographic reticle that you can see. I don't really care for the iron sights on this that much, and it does get access to some better ones like the short scope and the recon scope, which either one of those I would recommend that you put on this because it goes with the sniper perk 
If you get the sniper perk and you put any type of scope onto a weapon, you'll just get more damage out of it, at least when you're using the scope. So there's no real reason to not put one on if you can, at least for a long range gun. And for me, I put the recon scope on there, but either the recon or the short range scope, they should have the same zoom magnification. They just do things slightly different, like the recon will mark enemies. So it just depends on which one you like. Do you like marking them or do you not like marking them? Either way is fine. For a muzzle, I would recommend you just put a suppressor on this. If you're going with the sneak perk, you just get more damage if you put a suppressor on the weapon. It also fits kind of more for a sniper roll and long range sniping especially when enemies can't find you is extremely strong in this game and most games like this so the suppressor is probably your best option if you're not going to sneak and you don't really care about this then either the compensator or the muzzle break would be a decent option too. pick whichever one you would like for magazines you actually have quite a few interesting options for this weapon i would recommend one of three of them either going with the armor piercing rounds the depleted uranium rounds or the penetrator rounds armor piercing rounds are going to be the easiest to put into your weapon and they do a good job at just getting you more damage against most human enemies and more damage against certain aliens so just having armor piercing rounds is going to be a bonus plus you don't need to put that much investment into like weapon upgrades so that's pretty good it's also not super difficult to find one of these that's unique and has already armor piercing rounds in it since it's a tier one mod. The depleted uranium rounds are just a step up from the armor piercing rounds to where they just get you more penetration, so you might as well put them in. And then the penetrator rounds increases your damage by the most, and it also makes it so you can punch through multiple enemies. Punching through multiple enemies sounds pretty cool, and it kind of can be against alien targets, but against humans, you don't see this too often. There's not so many situations where enemies will just line up to where you can fire through a bunch of them it is kind of cool when it does happen because it's just saving you more ammo and getting you more dps overall but it's not entirely necessary this one does have some other interesting ammos which i haven't really tried like the em charge shot i feel like that could be good if you want to do like a pacifist run and just snipe at people to knock them out that could be kind of cool and the white hot rounds, I tried in this one, but I didn't really care for because the little bit more fire damage that you get in this doesn't really matter that much. It's not as good as putting them into an automatic weapon to where you can stack it up much faster and just keep burning enemies. For the internals, I would also recommend the high powered or the high velocity, depending on which one you like. Hair trigger could also be pretty good because this one doesn't shoot very quick. High power is just going to get you the most amount of damage, so you just do the most damage per shot. If you're already doing a high amount of damage, you might just want to forego this. High velocity will get you the longest effective range, making it so your damage drop off is less affected at very long range. So if you want to be sniping with this, that can be a good option. And then the hair trigger just makes it so you can shoot faster, which is always going to be a good option for a weapon like this that doesn't really fire that quickly. So with the regular lawgiver teetering on that B or C tier, I would definitely put the modded version of this into the B tier. I think it's pretty solid. It's a pretty good weapon overall. Does still fall off later to other sniper weapons, but if you just really like the aesthetic of it, you really like the way that it fires, you really like the way that it feels, then by all means, go with the lawgiver. I think it's a really cool looking gun and definitely an interesting sci-fi take on a battle rifle, hunting rifle that you would find on kind of a western planet like Aquila where it's sci-fi western. So I really do enjoy that. There is still the unique versions of this that are always available in the game and I would like to talk about each of those. The justifier you get from completing the ranger's quest once it's fully complete then you get this one. Uh, and this weapon actually doesn't have any unique effects on it. Nothing like that. It does have a unique skin on it which looks interesting. I don't know if I really like the skin that they chose for it. <laughs> But the mods that they put on it are actually pretty good. You get a long barrel on this, which is just a straight upgrade over the regular barrel. A laser sight, again a straight upgrade. Short scope, so that's pretty good. Muzzle brake, nice there. Depleted uranium rounds and a hair trigger. This one is all around pretty solid. I mean, it's nothing that you couldn't make yourself out of just a regular lawgiver. But if you're not going with weapon upgrade skills, then this one could just be a straight upgrade to the Justifier, assuming you don't find one with some legendary effects on it. I didn't really find myself using this one, mostly because I had always found a Lawgiver or another weapon that filled my sniper role that was a little bit better than this, either just because it had more effects on it or because I had modded it a little bit differently. The second one is called the Peacekeeper, which is oddly upgraded similar to the other weapon. All three of these weapons kind of have similar upgrades. This one does have two legendary effects with it, though. This one has the rapid ability, which increases the rate of fire by 25%, which is a huge bonus for a weapon like this. And it also has demoralizing, which makes it so there's a small chance you can demoralize the target. Demoralizing the enemies, I haven't really found to be all that useful whenever I've gotten a weapon with this. It technically has been a bonus, but it hasn't really been a significant bonus compared to anything else 
it's similar to like the frenzy ability where it sounds kind of cool on paper but it rarely comes into play because most of the time i just shoot the enemy until it's dead anyway it's okay it could be useful against high level enemies but the rapid is definitely the better of the two legendary effects and rapid does make this feel quite a bit better this one also has some unique mods on it to where it's got high velocity rounds in it so you get a little bit longer range Laser Sight, which is a bonus, Long Barrel, which is a bonus, Muzzle Break, which is a bonus. The Penetrator Round, so you can punch through multiple enemies, gotta like that. And it has a Recon Scope on it. This one's basically decked out the way that I enjoy building it, besides the Muzzle Break. I would just switch that out for a uh, Suppressor, and you'd be good to go. That'd be a fantastic weapon to use. And then we also have the Head Ranger, which is another unique weapon that you can get just from purchasing. And weirdly enough, this one also has quite a few mods on it, very similar to the last Lawgiver that we talked about, and it even has the same legendary effect, at least one of them with the rapid ability. So it always has the increased rate of fire, which is pretty good. It then also has the hair trigger on it, so you get an even higher rate of fire. This actually makes it pretty good to be used as like a battle rifle. Then you have the long barrel on it. We've seen that before. Muzzle break, we've seen that before. Penetrator rounds and a recon scope, all of which we've seen before on the previous gun. I don't know why they're modded so similar to one another and why they have like the same legendary effects. It, you think you would maybe add more or change them to be different ones to make them a little bit more interesting. But this one is still a pretty good gun and it would just be generally an upgrade over a regular lawgiver. So that brings us to should you use the lawgiver rifle? And I would say, yeah, absolutely. If you're going with a rifles build, it's probably going to be a very reliable rifle for you early on. And it's going to be pretty good into the mid game. It's going to fall off a little bit later once you get access to some other weapons, mostly the hard target being kind of just a straight upgrade over this weapon. But for the early game, it's really the only thing that's going to be firing the 50 cal round, and for that, it's effective enough. This heavily reminds me of like how the hunting rifle fits into most of the Fallout games, to where it's almost never or really is never the top tier weapon, but it is a high tier weapon for when you can get it and stays a pretty consistent weapon all the way throughout the game, at least in most situations. Some of the Fallout games that doesn't apply to. So, I enjoy this weapon. Tell me your thoughts on the Lawgiver down in the comments below. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody!